Hello everybody, I'm Rough Gandalf from DSG, and today we're going to be playing Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Now, before we get into it, it had been several months since I played the first chapter, so I'm going to be playing both back to back. God, I am so, so excited. I don't even want to talk about it. Let's get into it. Chapter 1, A Tight Squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally returned to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. A uh, new game. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe. The voice is a little off there. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect! Thank you! Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... That's why I'm not going. Even for that price. Flower. Poppy playtime. Flower. Oh, we're in it. Yep, I've got pause. I've got that. Lathe Pierre closing. Oh. Tab. Item. Tape. I can't click it or nothing. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, mouse speed. Turn that back down, please. Yeah, there we go. Aha! Hi, my name is Leith Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. What is that? If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we played this little tape on loop whenever we closed the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. Okie no spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. It's worth it. I promise. Eat healthy like brawn. E to open doors. Squish. Squish. Alright. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green. 
pink, yellow, red. Ah, yes. Time to get our grabby bag. Grab pack, that's what it's called. Do not fire at a co-worker. This may cause injury as they rip off their head. <laughs> Wire is conductive. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Dude, if grab packs were a thing in real life, God, I'd probably buy 10 of them. A grabby patty. Give it up. I want it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. That's him. High five. What? Uh, he's got some slippery hands. Huggy Wuggy, 1984. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever, and is always true. Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. Oh yeah, the key. Thank you. Yeah, he's huggy. Huggy wuggy. He'll squeeze you till you pop. Huggy wuggy. Huggy wuggy. Just a... Ba, ba, ba. There we go. And he's gone. Where'd he go? Nobody knows. Well, actually I do, but... Shh. Ah! Ah! You see it? You see it right there? Get back here! Stairway. To hell. Yeah! Oh wait, I, I actually forgot about this. Okay, there's a crouch. Okay. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yellow. Is there a yellow tape around here? What's this? Man, that really gets zipped. Huggy says, remember to take breaks. Ah, 
Hey, hey, hey! Well, I found him. Give me that right hand. Yes. Oh yeah. It spreads up between both. Oh, it's time. All right, complete the circuit. I remember. Is that not it? Oh, there's a pylon right there. Okay. Now, yoink. Down and around. Hello. Oh, wait a minute. We're running. Oh, I can't move. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh my god. What are those? Toy parts? Jesus. Oh, dude, I was expecting Wuggy's face. Oh. Hmm. Make a friend. 1960, our founder, Elliot Lugwood, was a visionary. He set the stage for all Playtime Co.'s greatest feats. Yet of all the amazing things he created, the Make-A-Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or back-breaking labor. This machine can do it all and more. A little bug there. Let's see what Pink has to say. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. Imagination. And being able to work at a toy factory can provide kids with that same experience? That's a pretty great feeling, too. Sometimes, though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird. So do I. Adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older. And then you die. Poof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever there's things though like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than the person i mean the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those so i guess everyone is always young relative to something right all right i think we're getting a little off track stella speaking some speaking some truths out here Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's power. Can I now... Okay, I can. Can I hold on to that and then... Oh! It didn't matter. Oh, I hurt a lot. Make a friend? Didn't I just turn on... I was about to say, didn't I just turn on the power? What are we making, like a kitty or something? 
Oh, the eyes follow you? I don't know if I like that. We got our toy. Scanning. Toy accepted. More stairways to hell. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. Hi, buddy. All right, I'm out of here. God, this game is so good. There he is in the vent. Even though I've played this, I don't dare turn around because I'm still scared of things chasing me. There he is, though. There he is, though. No, run faster than that. Dang it, I thought we was already there, so I was just turning around to see. I thought I was there. I didn't know I had to keep running straight. <laughs> Don't let him get inside. I didn't let him get inside. I actually got inside him. We go again. I'll save you! Oh, does he bleed? I didn't think a thing made out of polyester and fiber could bleed, but all right. Another video. What do you got, TV? Final line in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... End of what? I don't know. Let's get to the flower. No, go back, danger, turn around, no thanks. thought there was something having to do with that. I remember playing through this the first time. I touched every single thing in that room. I think this is Poppy. You opened my case. Yeah, I did. Chapter one. There it is. 
so good. It's so good. It's so good. <clears throat> so playing through that the first time, I've played it probably five times just going through it because it was so good. It's just, it's so good. I, oh, it's just, it's just so good. Chapter two, a fly in a web. With Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly when you search for any way to escape the factory. Hold any button to skip. I don't want to skip. Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Longlegs in the craziest ways. She oh. loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Longlegs from Playtime Co. What's the time? Oh. Oh, that's Poppy's face. Wake up. <sighs> Ooh. All right, you're you're sorting yourself out. Okay, so I got I got Poppy out of the cage. So intrigued, so am I. Oh. Oh, I didn't need to apply. I'm too excited. Oh. Elliot Ludwig. Uh. That robot's been massacred. Oh my. Going. Screw you. Damn it! All right, fine. <laughs> oh, do I have to? Oh. Okay, so I can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gotta. I gotta click though. Okay, so like. Yeah. Yeah, hell, you can swing. Press here. I don't want to. Let's get these barrels out the way, though. Get out of here. What is the... Flower key? Key. Uh. Rent. Okay. Oh. 
Anything to do with this? No, it doesn't seem that way. I guess I'm going to press here. No. Give me a big squeeze. I promise I won't bite. Come closer, friend. I'll squeeze you until you... Yes! Uh, I've done it. I've decapitated Huggy. Wait. <laughs> I can be seeing nothing. Oh, is there a VHS somewhere in here? What? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ludwig. Poor Elliot Ludwig. Oops. Yep. <laughs> here we go. Why does everything look bloody? Alright, and that's our way out. Let's watch this. Look at that. Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children. Why are they blurring out his face? Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... The beginning, 19-something. Who the f*** is this? Uh... Daisy. Well, well, that, well, that's Daisy. What are you making here? Love bug. Oh, what does this say? Experiment notes. The this experiment need. I can't do it. Uh, I still believe in the in the potential of the. Poppy River? Its unusual properties lend us to believe that the proper mixture and procedure could have life-altering properties. The poppy, I think that says river, has for a long time carried heavy symbolism, and I don't believe that's for... I don't believe that's for no reason. Perhaps something larger than a... Larger than a rat? Would yield different results? Experiment 814. Calling it now, he lost his daughter, and her body was used to make the poppy in the case. Blech. Honestly, I would... That's not a bad theory there. Huggy. Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get the power back 
on. Here. Uh. Uh, what are you doing just here? Oh. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. I'll just go this way. Oh, come on. Um, I wanted to thank you for freeing me. I was stuck in there for so long. Thank you. I'd like to pay you back. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coat, and I have it. We're gonna get out of here. As soon as you get on up here, I think I'm supposed to go back up here. Hey, I'm up here. Ah. I see you. Don't say that. I should be able to follow you through the fence. This way. Uh. Okay, this way? Ah, yep. Somebody singing. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. A buzzy bee. That's me. Poppy. Can't move it. That's not creepy at all. Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. Okay, I trust you. This is all part of your plan. I'll just wait here. Okay, I'm impatient. Does it want me to jump down there? This game wants me to jump down here, doesn't it? Oh, come on now. Don't do this to me. It, I, this game wants me to jump down here. Kobe! Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I think I know what's that way. <laughs> Cliff Pierre, Eddie M N R, Elliot Ludwig, Stella Graber, Power. Uh, hello. Well, all right, screw you, bud. Huh? Hi, y'all. There we go.
I don't trust this shit at all. Something just loaded. A new playmate. It's been so long. Isn't this exciting, Bobby? Very exciting, Mommy. Mommy heard that Miss Poppy was going to just give you the train code to escape. Now, how is that fun? Instead, why don't we make a game out of it? The game station is still working. It will be just like old times. And if you win all three games, I'll give you the train code. <gasps> Mommy loves that idea, Poppy. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Head to Musical Memory, and Mommy will get things started. Obey the rules, or I'll tear you apart and eat your insides while you're still alive. <laughs> She, she took my right hand though. Unless it's glitched, she, she took my right hand. Welcome to playtime. That was mommy long legs. Really? More like step on me, mommy long legs. <laughs> no, key. You're you're home. Go drunk. The game station. Who is this character? Preparing for departure in three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to the game station. I'm Stella, and we've got three super duper fun games to play. These little tests show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing musical memory. See you in a bit. Stella. Stella's the name of the person being interviewed in the first game. Bro. <gasps> There's apparently a lot of actual kid videos featuring Huggy. I guess that makes sense. Let's party. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, I can't get over that. Wait. I know when your birthday is. June 28th. <laughs> it's a wish. I, I wish I was out of here. Happy birthday. Hey, if it's uh, your birthday out there. Happy birthday, says this creepy bunny. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, happy, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. He's got a set of pipes on him, though. I'll tell you that. I 
know when your birthday is. June 28th. <laughs> you are very creepy. That no open. Hole in ground. Me no like. I don't know, for some re Five Nights at Freddy's... Oh. Molding room. Tape. Where's the TV? Ah, here we go. Green hand. Shoot green power outlet to temporarily hold electricity. Electric charge lasts for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, the charge runs out. Okay. While holding electricity, shoot green hand receivers to temporarily power other systems. They are on the same timer. Oh. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Okay. It was just fun. Oh. And the winning lottery numbers are... Tim... Tempolary? What's that? Oh. It's spouting. Oh, do I have to fix it? Ah, I gotta fix it. There we go. I'm guessing there might be another thing I have to fix. There we go. It's just overall too scary for kids. I would agree. I mean, when I was a kid, we used to lock each other in a bathroom and make them do the Bloody Mary thing. There was, uh... Oh, something stuck. No paint. Why did that door open? The eyes on the machine follow you? No, not this time. What keeps opening? What's... What's doing... I don't like things moving when I can't see them. Well, this opened. Hmm, nothing in there. Oh, we're going up. Ah, paint. Hey, a yellow hand. Oh, I got a thing. I probably don't want to fall into that machine. What's the thing I got? Green hand. Guess that makes sense. Now paint. There we go. I think I only need one green hand. So the whole... Temporary thing was because... You said that instead of... Temporarily? Did I? I mean, it's possible. I am an idiot, so... Green hand!
Can I can I have it? Can Can I have it? No? Can I have it? Ah, there we go. Okay. Yep. Something just loaded. Well, there's that. What was this way? Oh, okay. There's nothing that way. I see. Either that or I missed a secret. Think green. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. The wish. I wish to not be here. I'll tell you that right now. Welcome to Musical Memory. Oh no. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain. I'm horrible with memory. To see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern Bunzo. correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. Oh. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, oh. with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. Oh. Bunzo, no. No, Bunzo. Oh, isn't it amazing? Mommy hasn't seen the place up and running in years. Mommy can only imagine how excited Bunzo must be. No! No, 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 no! He's been able to play, to cheer, to eat. Oh, that's the dinner bell. Good luck. Violet? Oh! No! No, 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 dude! Jane or 
heart, Violet. Blue J heart, Violet Y. What? Blue J heart, Violet Pi. Violet by Violet. Blue J, J Heart Violet Pi Violet. No! Linda, smile, smile, say, work and question mark, and call it yellow, blue, by yellow, violet, Linda, J, work and question mark, red, heart, stir, blue, yellow. bringing up shapes and numbers? Oh. Oh, fuck you, game devs. I literally cannot tell the difference between orange and yellow. He screams an aggressive colorblind. <laughs> I heard your butt old pucker when all those came out of the ceiling. Rejects? Rejected. Owen the Oven. Multiple cases of children receiving third degree burns. Wait, wait, wait what, what the f are you? Sir poops a lot. My man. Owen the Oven. Who are you, friend? Look at all these. It's Braun. Wanna hear a dino joke? Click once for the question. Click again for the punchline. <laughs> what do you call a dino with one eye? What do you call a dino with one eye? Uh, do you think he saw us? <laughs> yeah. uh, do you think he saw us? Yeah! All right, so I'm gonna end it. Oh, what do we got here? Incinerate, kick me, Paul. Launch, lunch with Avery Friday. Call retail stores to return SPA shipments. Spa shipments? Oh, is there gonna be a tape around here? Warning overhead crane. Oh! Oh, come with me. Yep, let's go.
Oh wait, now do I pull it? Wait. Oh, the green. I guess I gotta power the green. But where is it? There's none left. There isn't any more. Surprise hair. Not enough appeal to designer name. Make it a chicken question mark? Oh, there's Huggy. And there's Mommy. Mommy Long Legs. Not, not, not the, not the other thing. Yeah, for, forget I said it. Yeah, this just lets me hold charge. Do I? You know, you and your, like, brain can not... I did not even see it on that thing. I saw this. I was like, oh, okay, all right, so I'm gonna have to find, like, a door or, like, a power switch for the handle or whatever. I did not notice it was on that. I've literally been holding my phone and looking for it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's in the ladder? Oh, my God! What a sneaky little devil! Oh my gosh! Ever look for your glasses through your glasses? No, I haven't done that. Let's watch this tape. Good. Well, it finally happened. After years of being ignored, the company actually heard all my complaints. Yep, they listened to them very carefully. I guess my words must have really inspired them to take action. Because the next day I got demoted down here. To the freaking island of misfit toys! <laughs> Why do I talk to myself? Huh, Mr. Poops a lot. At first, I thought that was the voice of Matthew Mercer. I don't think it was. Uh, no, but I've tried to take my contacts out right after taking my contacts out. <laughs> All right, we we gotta we gotta move on. We gotta continue. Time for numero dos. Whoa, you did fantastic! Who gave you permission to be this smart? <laughs> My mommy. Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Waggo Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. Okay. Statues. That sounds horrifying. Wacko Wuggy. Oh, geez. Welcome to Wacko Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. Uh... I guess center of the room? The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. Uh. Oh, I can hear them all around.
Nah, they're over here. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, this is getting real. No. Nope, missed him. Oh my god. Thanks, Mommy. Here, Mommy has another hint for you. Only one game left to play. Sad. Mommy was hoping you'd stay here forever. Though, it's never too late. To change your mind. <laughs> Don't worry, mommy. I'll stay if you need me to, but uh icons must be colored in this exact order. Oh, you also have to color them. Cool. Alright, thank you. What do we got? Press the button to feed me candy. More! More candy! <laughs> okay, no more candy. My tummy's full. Nom nom nom. I said no more. Nom nom nom. Stop! Oh no. Nom nom nom. I think we just blew up a cat with candy. Noises. Oh, geez. I like the look of this. Cart corridors. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Huggy? Uh, you're not Huggy. Don't do it. Don't do it! Oh. Wait, are you helping me? Berry. Hi, Berry. A tape. That was easy. Jacksepticeye! the guy. Mind if I film this? Oh my gosh, it's all, sir. That's <laughs> what I like to hear. So, Marcus. What happened? 
You see, I was heading home for the day when my ape arse realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mop handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mop handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I haven't a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody... Monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will ya? Actually, never mind, get out of my sight. There it is! Sean, aka Jack Septicai, is in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2! And they made him exceptionally Irish. They wanted him to really, really bring out the Irish. <laughs> Alright, Barry. Be on your way. Goodbye. Yay! Good job, Barry. Whoa. Shaky. Why did that pink huggy wuggy help me? Huh. Something just loaded. I just dropped <laughs> dropped a bunch of frames. There's nothing in the darkness. That's whack a huggy. Oh, okay, I'm back. Time for the last part. I don't... I don't like the thought of this one. Statues. Oh, it's like a long dragon thing. I'm hearing many legs. Oh dear. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. Okay. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck. Oh. Uh... It was always so sad to see the kids go. They called me mommy because I was the closest thing they ever had to. Okay. Them. But they come for games. 
and never come back. They left Mum to die alone. Mum didn't deserve that. But you, you worked here. So if anyone deserves to die alone, it's you. Shut up. I can look around, but I can't move. Didn't think I moved. I can look around, but I can't move. If this counts. Okay, you just can't literally move at all because it just goes at you. Copy that. Does it count? Can I move through this? I don't know if I can. I'm expecting that stupid face to come around the corner. It's platforming. Oh, f he's right there. I can't get back up. Oh, my God. at the end oh my god he's coming no 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 I'm I'm like freaking glitched right now don't be an asshole Hello? Uh... I, uh...
<laughs> I broke it. I see what happened. I see, I see what happened. Oh, look how fast he's going. Look, I was supposed to grab that right there. And I went straight through and broke the game. It, it's broken right now. Yeah, he, he can't get me. It's broken right now. <laughs> yeah, he'll go all the way through and then you'll see him all the way down at the end just Alright, hold on. We gotta wait for him to clear though. <laughs> oh, you suck. I wonder if I can go now. Let's try it. Yep, I sure can. <laughs> and there you have it. Unless the pug can come up here and I need to still be running. Pug can't come up here, can he? PJ? Probably not. Ouch. I shirt myself. Where did you go? <laughs> We're, um... We're not going to talk about that. Mommy's angry. Mommy's been drinking her special juice. What do we have here? Rotate top 90 degrees. Rotate bottom 90 degrees. Okay, let's see. Transfer request. Experiment 1222. Subject, Mary Payne. Mommy Longlegs. Mommy Longlegs has the unique ability to stretch any of her limbs for several hundred feet. This includes her fingers, arms, hair, neck, waist, and legs. She's very hostile towards the staff, but is very motherly and acts warmly towards the other experiments. She is protective of them. The hostility is quickly becoming problematic, but perhaps there is a solution to put her in her place. Proposal. Mommy Longlegs would be, the per would be perfect for facilitating everything with the children in the game station. She has the warmth that a mother should, and any rowdy children can learn to listen to their mother. It makes sense that her seeing these children daily would improve her behavior, but it is very unlikely that she will act out in front of children. Having her transfer to high security maintenance immediately Conditioning can begin. What does this mean? Oh. Well, there we go. That looks that looks solved to me. I can make all these jumps. Ah, I need a toy. Oh, it literally doesn't let you. Hey, that's pretty cool. There we go. Literally doesn't let you. Invisible wall. hate you already. Snag. 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 Button? Oh boy.
Oh. That... Yes, is definitely a collectible. Okay, what... What does it have to do? That? Okay. And then... Then what? That? No. Can I just have it? Oh, I grabbed three of them. <laughs> okay. Bunzo bunny. And I have two more of them. <laughs> oh, it's right there. Oh, night. We're watching all the tapes. Show me the goodies. The following is a pre recorded announcement to address the many complaints regarding an alleged very, very big spider crawling around in the facility. That's a fact. The Playtime Corporation wants me to remind you all that spiders that big do not exist. False. And that if they did, quote, we would already be dead anyways. And Probably quote. true. Regardless, you can all rest assured the company is sending some specialists down here to have a look around and relieve the constant whining. Specialists. Whining seems to be everyone's primary contribution to this company. It's just a spider. You are all safe. Please, please carry on with your jobs. Somebody's not having a great day. hate this a lot. I asked you to play fair, and you cheated! I hate cheaters! Now, we're going to play one last game! It's called Hide and Seek! Ten, nine, <gasps> seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Oh. oh, that was really good. There has to be. Oh, right here. Yep, and there was. Up, oh, load. Refusing to load would result in your uninstallment. Not this. Oh no, I missed it. I missed that collectible. Geez, okay. All right, let's see. Any note anywhere? Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Red, red, blue, green. All right. Red, blue, green. Yellow. Fuck! 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 No! 
No! No! No! Oh, I knew it was coming. Why is that door closed? Oh. Okay. It wants me to run. There's got to be another path. Okay. Can I now close this? No. I can still hide up here. I wonder if I can come back here and then just hide. I wonder if that's what it wants me to do. Okay, hold on. Let's do a check through here. See if there's any other doors or anything. Because that, that might be exactly what it wants me to do. Oh, jeez. No time. No time. Go! That certainly is horrifying. She's not gonna do it again, right? Oh, Jesus. Ensure the machinery is clear of debris. White machine services of lubricant, dirt, or other debris. Check for and replace worn or damaged parts. Check machine foliage levels. Main gear removed. Damage beyond repair. Please repair. Oh, yeah. Now we're working. Fuck! Again? I see what it wants. Flames through the fire and the flames we carry on. All right, cool. I'm surprised nothing happened with this. God damn it! Oh, she's big! Oh, I'm wet. Turns on furnace. Yeah, what if you were in there, she just roasted you. <laughs> Be like, oh, I see you hitting the furnace, blap. Ah, but you can't, she doesn't have a green hand. Obviously. I don't even think it matters. Don't jump, just swing, maybe. If she is crawling on the walls there.
There's no f***ing way that this is the end. I knew it. I knew it. Chapter three? Chapter three, what's good? Oh, there's a TV there. Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006, the prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door despite the other specialists still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. Whoa. So that hand we saw was the prototype. Oh, is it train time? Well, no, I never got the other thing. Oh. Okay, press buttons on the console in the exact order. Once completed, make sure to pull the train whistle handle before departure. Okay. Icons must be sequenced with Bunny, Huggy, B-Cat, Mom. Did you kill her? Yes, I did. Good. I'll board the train. Open the other door for no freaking reason. Okay. So I have to put them in order. Oh, okay, reset. Yes, I know. Let me reset. Reset. Bing, bong, bing, bing. 
Why didn't you freaking do that before, you dingbat? Hi. Let's go. Come on, faster. Is this about to be a roller coaster? I don't like roller coasters. Was that an actual alarm? Hands on controls. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Break! Break! Did I push the button? Unsafe speed, stop train. Yes. Yes, stop the train. Oh, shit. Oh, oh that actually stopped pretty quick. thought that was end of chapter I can't move oh it was <laughs> dude what a game this is oh my gosh okay I still love lock Sean Jacksepticeye McLaughlin Wow. What a game. What a game. Oh, that was really good. That was really good. There are several parts that were glitchy is the right way to put that like the hands and their hitboxes are a little off but god that's good chapter three give it to me oh give it to me chapter three i want it so bad <laughs>